way, I don't think they're gonna do it just for Mark. I feel like they're gonna do it in a scenario. top to bottom. It doesn't matter if you're stealthy, snappy, gun or knifey. Abraham was right. They have the numbers. It's ball game unless we put together a finishing move for a force of many along with the man in charge. A single bullet ain't gonna do it. Best case, maybe you take him out. Then make me a bullet. Somebody has to pay the price. Even if you're willing. From all we've seen, it's not a lot. You'll be the one. Will the man who killed the man who saved our lives die? Maybe. Then make me a bullet. You're not talking me out of this, Eugene. You owe me, and you owe him. And if there's a price, I'll pay it. But don't you tell me no. You ain't gotta you don't know anything. anything. You don't do anything. You're a coward. And you're weak. The only reason you're alive is because you lied and because people feel sorry for you. So for once, do something useful. Why she gotta do the Jennifer Make Lopez thing for? A bullet. <laughs> I swear I've seen that in enough <laughs> of all the movies he does. I wouldn't make a dag on that. I'd walk out. It's got rough, man. Can I wrap up my face now? No, you absolutely cannot. Why the hell not? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this badass. <laughs> you can't because I'm not done with you. And I like looking at your disgusting, rat-ass, bad-ass eye. So it's staying out. <laughs> what? You got something to say? Why haven't you killed me? Or my dad? Or Daryl? Daryl? Is gonna make a good soldier for me. You see, he thinks he's holding it together. But you saw it. And your dad, he's already getting me great stuff. You, on the other hand, well, we shall see. It's more productive to break you. More fun, too. 
You thinking that's stupid? I'm thinking we're different. Hmm. You're a smart kid. What do you think I should do? You know I can't let you go. So, do I kill you? Iron your face? Chop off your arm? Tell me. What do you think? You can jump out the window to save me the trouble of killing you. <laughs> Come on, Carl! Oh. Yo, Carl is like awesome other stuff. Now there is the kid that impressed the hell out of me. <laughs> I think you're not saying what you're gonna do to me because you're not going to do anything. Carl, no, no, no. no. If you knew anything, you would kill us. Carl, shut up. I can't. Shut up. You'll get Daryl killed, bro. Maybe you're right. You'll get Daryl killed. Maybe I can. Let's go for a ride, kid. Time out, put him back in his box for a while. That's good. Instead of Mark getting out by uh, Paul, it's gonna be um, Daryl. That makes sense. Go what? Take 
guitar. Make it good. Oh, this is just all jacked up. Um, this is some crazy 90 minutes. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Where did you acquire all this? Dug up medical supplies, water purifiers, flares. And you're just going to give it all to them? That's what Rick wants us to do, right? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do more than that. Uh oh. Uh, he doesn't know that Negan's group is in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're here. He's here. Hey, neighbor. Why don't you come by later? You might grill out. Wow, he's sitting there with Rick. Oh, I like it here. Child. Both of them. I might just have to stay here. And I was thinking about what you said earlier, Carl. Maybe it is stupid keeping you and your dad alive. I mean, why am I trying so hard? Maybe I should just bury you both down in one of those flower beds. Huh? <laughs> and I could just settle into the suburbs. And you do the one thing. Windows present scenes from the 90 minute mid season finale of The Walking Dead. I know what the saviors are and I know what they do. They cannot be trusted. What exactly are you asking? If we don't do something now, things can go bad. And when they do, we'll lose everything. Oh, snap! They say. For more video, go to EMC.com. Oh, man. So tonight we learned that Carl... Gosh, duh. Okay, you guys, that was a pretty awesome episode. I'm about to do a quick review, and uh, then I'll get back to it. All right, peace.